There's a concept I grapple with, probably more internally than externally, although in my mind it's something that I kind of, there's a they out there that are constantly saying this opposing thought. Um, and it's around the idea of like me constantly believing that more information is good, more inputs is always a good thing. Um, and that, you know, the general thought that you should constantly be doubting what you think and what you believe and bringing in more of those inputs, seeking it, seeking to look at a different perspective, seeking to challenge the way you're thinking about it and say, what would it look like this way? Um, trying to bring in as much information as you can, whether that be internal and really embracing your emotional reaction to things and understanding why, you know, something makes you angry or sad or happy, um, but also external, talking to people, trying to gather as much information as you possibly can. And, and the grappling, the struggle is that, Again, perhaps more just in my own mind, it's something that I'm worried about, but is that you, there's information overload, right? And at some point you have to err on the side of action. You have to make a decision, you have to do something. And if you spend your whole life for all this time just trying to gather information and understand different perspectives, you, you don't take action, you, you don't do anything. Um, and you know, th th there is certainly a view of that. And, and I get that view, right? And there's almost a view that some information or too much information is bad. Um, it confuses you. It, it clouds you. It may lead you astray, right? There's also that piece of it that the more you take in, the less you're able to grasp it, the less you're able to understand it. And to that I say, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of this stuff is fucking hard and it's fucking complex. And I think, I think what often happens is People don't want that complexity, right? We talk about it all the time. We want cohesive narratives. We want things to be simple. We want things we can understand. So there's this inclination and there's this narrative that we, rhetorical, we create, which is like, hey, don't, don't overcomplicate this. Don't overthink it. Don't take in all that information. It's, it's inefficient. It's a waste of time. It's going to confuse you. Um, take action. You need to make a decision. And to that I say, yeah, I get it. You do need to make a decision. And I've made this distinction before. You know, there's a distinction between making a decision and doing the work, being thoughtful, questioning and challenging yourself. Those two things don't have to be mutually exclusive. Yes, at some point you do have to put a stake in the ground and say, hey, this is what I'm going to do. But it doesn't mean that you become dogmatic to that and it's just gone forever and that's just the decision you made and you never come back and look at it again. You can absolutely still question it. Um, and even to the pre part, right, before you make the decision, getting into that mud, getting into that complexity, having it be hard, that's okay. That's what it should be. If it's an important topic, I want as much information as I can possibly have. Now, here's the key, right? The crux of it is, and I'm not saying I've perfected this, but this is what I'm striving for, is as you bring in all that information and you do all that analysis, you have to do it effectively, right? And that's the hard part. You have to really try and understand what am I bringing in? What does this perspective tell me? What does that person tell me? What does this reaction tell me? And try and really understand it and weight it, if you think about it mathematically, weight it effectively, value it effectively, put it into your calculation in a way that's accurate. And that's hard, right? That's a hard thing to do. And it's something that we often mess up. And if you mess that up, then sure, then more information, more data inputs, all that stuff can be bad because now it's kind of garbage in, garbage out. You're bringing in more junk. But if you're willing to do the hard work, if you're willing to be really thoughtful and challenge yourself and try and assess those inputs as effectively as you can, they're always going to be good things. Now, even in that, we can never know for sure that we're, we're assessing them accurately. So that, that's where that questioning comes in. You have to constantly keep looking at it. But the more you do it, the better you will get at it and the more efficient it will become. And as I say, I just I can't imagine a world where less inputs is better in that regard.